The tennis bot is a tennis ball retrieving robot that has the ability to identify and locate tennis balls using image processing. Once a picture is taken, the bot filters the image to detect the specific color and shape of a tennis ball. Once it detects the tennis ball, it can calculate the distance and angle it is relative to the bot itself. The Raspberry Pi is a small computer responsible for the processing in the tennis bot. The coding is done directly on this device and is what controls all the components. It receives its information from the Raspberry Pi camera, which has the ability to connect directly to the Raspberry Pi. The camera sends images to the Raspberry Pi, which are then processed. Three servos are used on the tennis bot. Two of them drive the wheels and allow the bot to move specific distances. And the third servo is used to drive the paddle that pulls the tennis balls into the bot. In order to use these servos, a Raspberry Pi servo hat is needed. This provides the very specific and repetitive timing pulses the motors need to set the position. Using the hat instead of the Pi Linux kernel provides more accurate and faster results. However, since we are using the servo hat, a second battery pack is needed. Servos can use a lot of power, so it is not a good idea to use the Raspberry Pi's 5 volt pin to power them. Electrical noise and brownouts from excess current draw could cause the Raspberry Pi to act erratically, reset, and or overheat. A simple portable battery is used to power the Raspberry Pi. Once the bot is initialized, it will take a picture and determine if there are any tennis balls nearby. If it does not detect a ball, it will rotate 40 degrees, take another picture, and process the new area. Once an image is taken, it is converted to a binary image based on a predetermined range of RGB values. The binary photo then goes through a morphological erosion to reduce boundary regions. Then the photo goes through a morphological dilation process to enlarge the tennis balls back to their original size. The resultant objects, which should be tennis balls, are then measured. The diameter of these tennis balls are used to determine how far away they are from the bot. Once the tennis ball is located, it will change its angle and try to go straight towards it. However, because the servos do not have an encoder, the position does need to be calibrated. So once it reaches 50% of the distance, it will go ahead and correct its angle. Got it. 